Hi, my name is Akanksha Upadhyay and I am your English instructor. In today's class, we will be learning about how to use the correct form of relative pronoun in a sentence. This is in the grammar portion of our 11th unit. So let's begin. The use of relative pronoun. First of all, we will list some of the relative clauses. The relative cl clauses are who, whom, these are some of the relative clauses and the use of relative clauses is done to show relationship between sentences to subjects, objects or anything. We will see when to use the relative clauses that we had listed in the first column. In today's class, we will see when to use the relative clauses, including who, whom, whose, whomever, or whoever, and also the use of relative clauses which, where, that, whichever, whatever, what, in a sentence, when to distinguish or how to distinguish whether which relative clause to use. So by definition, Relative pronouns By definition, relative pronouns are the type of pronoun used to link different parts of a sentence. So we use the relative clauses who, whom, whose, whoever, or whomever when we refer to a person in particular. So for example, who bought the pilot pen? So we are talking about a person. So we use who in the sentence. To whom were you addressing? So, of course, you're talking about a person here also. Hence, we use whom because we're talking about a person. We're referring to a person. Whoever bought the pilot pen wants to speak with you. So, a person has bought a pilot pen and the same person wants to speak with you, in that case, we use whoever because we're talking about a person. So we use which, that, what, where, whatever, or whichever while referring to a thing, a place, or an idea. For example, in which building is the physics lab? So we're talking about the building, a place where physics lab is situated. Hence, we use which because we're talking, we're referring to a place. Did you see the pen that I bought? So we're referring to a pen. That's a thing. When we refer to a thing, we use that. Let's note that whenever we talk about people or animal and things in an informal way, we use that. Not only for thing, place, or idea, we can also use that when we talk about people, animal, or things in an informal way. Let's go through another example. Choose whichever flavor you like. So we are writing whichever flavor because we are talking about an idea. We'll also look at when to use who and when to use whom. 
Though this becomes pretty clear when we go towards the examples, we will still list a point. We use who while referring to the subject of a sentence. For example, when we say, who is your English teacher? We are referring to the name of the English teacher, which is the subject of the sentence. Who is your English teacher? You need to know the English teacher. And that is the reason we are using who, because we are talking about the subject of a sentence. We use whom. We use whom while referring to the object of a sentence. For example, whom did you call? So to call someone is an action. And the answer of whom is the object of the sentence. So if you're calling Sita, whom did you call? Sita. Sita is the object because you're performing an action on Sita. Now let's look at some more examples. People live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones at others. And the options are whose, who, or whom. So people here in this sentence is the subject. People, if we choose whom, that will be incorrect because this is not the subject. And since we're talking about the subject, we, refer, we are trying to refer to the subject of the sentence, that's people, we use who. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones at others. We have chose who because who is the subject, people is the subject of the sentence. That is the building they shot the film hostel. We discard whose immediately because here we are not talking about a person instead we are talking about a building with where and which we need to choose between where and which now here we know that the film is shot inside the building hence we choose where We would have used which if we were talking about animal or things. But since we're talking about a building, we use or we choose where. The dress Ravi is wearing is very expensive. Who, which, what? Now here we discard who immediately because we're not talking about a person, we're talking about the dress. We're not talking about Ravi here, we're talking about the dress that Ravi is wearing. Again, we choose which because remember in the previous example, we said that which is used to talk about animals and things and here dress is a thing. So we choose which. The dress which Ravi is wearing is very expensive. Can I borrow the book? Was written by Mr. Pradhan. That, what, whose. Since we're talking about a book that is a thing, we can choose between these three options and with these three options that what whose we choose that 
because we can talk about things in an informal way and book is a thing. Can I borrow the book that was written by Mr. Pradhan? So you're pointing at a book that was written by Mr. Pradhan. You need a book to borrow written by Mr. Pradhan. Now we will try to join the pair of sentences into one using suitable relative pronouns. I used to live in Banipa. I was born and went to school there. We join these two independent sentences to one sentence using the suitable relative pronoun. Now, since we're talking about a place, that's Banipa, we use where. Because we're talking about a place and you're talking about which place did you go to school. So we join these two sentences like this. So we say, I used to live in Banipa where I was born and went to school there. So you're talking about a place. That's why we use where. He bought the latest model of iPod as if wanted it. So here we are talking about an iPod that is a thing. That's why we use which. If this is an informal sentence, we can also use that instead of which. But here we use which because we are talking about the latest model of iPod that's a thing that Asif wanted. So he bought the latest model of iPod which Asif wanted. We don't mention it again in the answer because we have already because this is a single sentence and here it means the latest model of iPod which is already mentioned in the sentence hence we discard it that's the problem we solved it together So we can use, that's the problem that we solved together. We can also use which in this sentence. That's the problem which we solved together. Both of the relative clauses are correct in this sentence because we're talking about an idea of solving a problem. Tell me about your friends. They can help you in your hard times. So we join these two sentences by using the relative clause who because we're talking about, we're referring to a person or people. Tell me about your friends. Who can help you in your hard times? We are talking about friends, and friends are people, hence we use who. What's the name of the old man? He was wearing the blue cap. What's the name of the old man who was wearing the blue cap? So we are talking about the old man, and referring to a person, an old man, we use who. Here, the main, the subject of the sentence is old man, and the action is wearing the blue cap. We refer to who because we know that we are talking about the subject, that's the old man. The main focus 
of the sentence is, is in finding the name of the old man and that is the reason we are using who. Malala left her studies. The reason for leaving her studies was her family problem. Family problem was the reason because of which Malala left her studies. So we are referring to which in this sentence because uh, the sentence wouldn't have been complete with the normal or regular form that the sentence, the question is given. We couldn't have written Malala left her studies and use any relative clause. Hence, we switched the second part of the sentence that the reason for leaving her studies was her family problem in the front. So we say that family problem was the reason because of which Malala left her studies. So we are referring to an idea of a family problem. Hence, we use which. Do you know the people? They work for the development of our nation. Here we are referring to people, hence we use who. Do you know the people who work for the development of our nation? This is all for today's class. We have some homework for us. Choose the correct form of relative clause. The question is, look at the one-horned rhinos. Something are drinking in the river. The options, who, that, or which. Choose the correct form of relative clause and complete the sentence. And another, ex uh, another homework is to join the sentences with suitable relative clauses. So... Um, the question is, the little girl was standing by the door and gazing at the path below. Her father had been away for several months. If you have any comments, any suggestions or anything that you wish to share with us, please feel free to write to us at learning at Thanks for watching.